is going on members of the Shy Guy Squad? My name is Dan, otherwise known as Donicky, and welcome back to the second game of the GOT. This game is against ReggieTube and his uh, Honolulu Fulpix. A link to his channel will of course be in the description down below. Be sure to check him out after that you've checked out the last game, which was against Hail Hydra and his Drexel Drompas. By the way, I fixed this logo. Feels good. No, I mean, I haven't really. I made a uh, possible way with a little bit of help from Caleb or um, Loader Dude. So I'll show you guys that one for game five, but uh, just to let it be known, I made a slight alteration just, you know, make it look a little bit cleaner. Because I personally, I, I, I'll say it right now, I personally have an issue with the uh, current Drexel Drop logo, but that's just me. But enough about the Drexel Drumpas, we're here to fight off against a Reggie Tube and his Honolulu Vulpix, which by the way have a spicy logo. But uh, after last game, we are 1 0, a plus 3, and we're trying to, of course, um, push that further and make it into top 64. So if we can start off by being 2 0, that would be absolutely fantastic, because that means if I win a third game, I should, in theory, be locked in for um, be uh, top 64. But um, that'll be determined. Uh, first of all, we need to get past this game, which. Uh, my team, as you guys can see, I'm about to read you guys off the drafts that are in the uh, current matchup. You guys, uh, if you haven't gotten acquainted with my draft, it consists of, oh my god, trying to go this, this as fast as I can. <laughs> Scrolling down here, and we have an I quote. Uh, Mega Gardevoir, Excadrill, Salamence, uh, Greninja, Volcarona, Gigalith, Serena, and Comfy. And my opponent's team consists of Megalodios, which you see across the screen right there. Terrakion, Skarmory, Volcanion, Floor, Gizubros, Top 5, Dugtrio, Rotomo, and Sneasel, which you guys see Sneasel. So Rotomo and Duggy are the ones uh, missing from his side. And from my side, there is no Mens or no Serena. So we got the God Comfy right here. We also got Greninja, Excadrill, uh, Gardevoir, Gigalith, and uh, Volcarona. I brought a very, very similar uh, Gigalith set to the one from the last game. But uh, with that being said, I hope you guys are uh, ready and we will uh, look at how this game against ReggieTube went. So I'm going to click play and see how it goes. So he's going to lead off with the Skarm, so I'm going to lead off with my Bubble Man the Frog. And uh, I'm going to make a hard swap here into the Great Moth because I knew he was going to try to set up rocks. And uh, to me, this is A-OK. -okay. As I'm going to go Fiery Dance here, as you guys see, I'm going to just drop him down to Sturdy so you guys see what happens here. So I just drop him down to Sturdy thinking, alright, so, um, that's cool. And uh, with that being, like, with that being, I'm, I feel like I'm in a good position right now. I mean, Brave Bird would suck, but I feel like I've built my uh, Volk to be decently bulky. But uh, this man drops out the Rock Slide, and it actually doesn't kill, because, fun fact for all you guys watching, is that, um, Rock Slide actually does less to Volcarona than a Brave Bird because uh, 75 times 4 is 300 and uh, 120 plus the stab which is another base 60 because it's 50% 50% uh, boost makes it 180 180 times 2 is 360 so a Brave Bird will always be stronger onto Volcarona than a Rock Slide just, uh, just a tip for you guys um, when you guys face off against the Volk don't always look for the quad effective make the, do the math and then see what is stronger. So I'm sure my opponent will remember this for next time. But with that being said, I can just knock out this um, Skarmory with a upcoming Bug Buzz in case he was trying to make some funny swap into uh, the Latios. So I'm going to. He's going to go into the Terrakion right now, which means I am going to die. So I'm going to swap out here into Clayman because Clayman is actually meant to be able to take care of this Terrakion as he goes for the Rock Polish. And you know, him double dancing is honestly the least of my worries. I was not scared of Double Dance Terrakion at all. So as you guys are about to see moving on, he goes for the SD and I'm just gonna be like, eh, I'm gonna go for an Earthquake and drop him down really low. I have the Chopple Berry on lockdown for this close combat. It is 83%, I live that and I can just pick him off. And even if Gigalith were to die at that point, I could just go into Comfy and Draining Kiss and just pick off the Terrakion because what's the point of preserving a 27%? Terrakion against my team, he would not have a chance to set that thing back up. So, to me, I just felt like that was the best play and just, you know, taking him out. So I did that, and uh, now he goes into the Latios, which uh, I decided uh, to see if I can bring out the heat. Known as uh, Gravity, <laughs> Gravity on my boy. And uh, my opponent is going to just knock me out with the uh, uh, Earthquake. 
Now, what I am disappointed in myself about is the fact that, well, I see it because the sand is not, but at the same time, I wish I kind of exploited it, uh, exploited my uh, uh, gravity setup, but you know, what? It's, it's whatever. So I'm just going to go into Comfy, it does 47% uh, with the life warp. I hear Aster breathing down my neck. And uh, what's unfortunate is that I go for another one and I also get the 47% roll. And I don't know if it was a roll in my favor, a roll not in my favor for me to take him out if I got two low rolls, if I got two high rolls. I honestly don't know. I haven't done the exact calc on that and I probably should for uh, future matchups. But uh, just the fact that it lived on 1% makes me very, very sad. And that means that Comfy is going to drop, which once again makes me also very sad because I love Comfy and it's been putting in so much work for me. So I'm going to swap into Greninja though, meaning I can just knock him out with a Water Shuriken. And for those of you who don't know as well, another niche thing about gravity is that it increases the, uh, or it lowers the evasiveness of the opponent Pokemon. So, uh, if I even had a move like a Mist, it had a higher chance to hit in gravity. So you can do like some funny stuff with Gravity Dynamic Punch, Gravity Zap Cannon, Gravity, uh, I think it's Inferno, or something like that. The, the one that causes burn 100% of the time, but has 50% accuracy. And just to mention a few of those, because they are really, really fun. And, uh, with that being said though, I was just cover Gravity. He brings in his uh, Volcano on my Greninja as I drop the Hidden Power Electric, which does 42.4% which is nice, I was just trying to weaken this thing as he does 69.5% to my Greninja. And here I just decided to click HP uh, Electric again because if this thing goes down I can just go into my Excadrill and clean up because there's no way he can deal with uh, my Excadrill with this, uh, this Pokemon the other two. So I get a critical hit here which is really unfortunate, like it's incredibly unfortunate that I got that crit because he would have knocked me out but at the same time he would have been way low and I could have just sent an Excadrill to deal with it. So, at the end of the day, did it matter that much? Not so sure about that. This one I felt bad about though, as I, as guess he, I dropped the gunk shot on him, I do 95.5% and he gets the poison. So, yeah, he does take out, he goes for the wish too, which means that my Greninja will, you know, stay around. And now I can go into, now he goes into the Sneasel, and he is going to knock me out with the fake out, so nice deck on my opponent's side. Here I have any choice. I cannot go into a Volcarona it's at 35, so it will just die. But I can go into Excadrill, I can take anything this thing wants to, or I can go into Gardevoir and I can take anything this wants to, because I calf myself to be able to live Poison Jab from Terrakion, Sneasel, like anything super effective on Gardevoir I could live, even after rocks, so I wasn't really too afraid. So I just decided to go into Gardevoir, and um, I'm gonna make Evolve right here, click Hyper Voice. Uh, he was Expert Belt, he told me. Uh, Expert Belt, um... Expert Bell Poison Jab, and it was still not enough to knock out my guard. So, we pick up another W, another 3 0 W, putting us in a 2 and 0 plus 6 differential, which is really, is, which is a really nice start to this uh, tournament. We have, um, what should I say? Uh, we are um, closing in on that top 6 4 spot, and next uh, game, we're playing Gareth of the um, Passimiangers or something. I, I don't remember the theme, but uh, that is our um, week three or game three match that we don't rematch. So I'll probably go more in depth about my sets against Gareth because the chance of us rematching is like quarter finals if we both make it out of my group. So, you know, uh, but he, his team, which we will be preparing for, consists of Tapu Bulu, Thundi T, Mega Blastoise, Alolan Marowak, Aerodactyl with a Z move, Seismitoad, Umbreon, and Passimian. So I'm looking forward to that match. It's going to be a good one as a. Uh, in the first game he played, which is the only one I know the results of, he won 1-0 against uh, Regitube, where Tapu Bulu was uh, putting his team on the back, and we'll see if we can take down uh, Gareth and move on to 3-0, because that would be a really nice, that would be really nice for us. But with that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, today's GOT battle. And I hope to see you guys in the next upload. I will hopefully get a wife about to you guys soon. Just need to uh, narrate some stuff and figure out color correction stuff again to make my videos look as crisp as they were uh, before I died. So with that being said, I'll talk to you guys later. Like, comment, sub. We are... Also, I just want to mention this real quick before I go. We are like 25 people. By the time I'm recording this, we're like 25 people away from 2,000 members of the Shy Guy Squad, which is insane. 
and I just can't thank you guys enough. But uh, with that being said, I'm so sorry for stalling the time right there. I just want to say thank you all. But with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Talk to y'all later. Uh, bye bye. Thank you.